I've not made something stupid and pointless in a while. So full disclosure, this is not an original idea. You may remember on this channel a little while ago I made this reverse axe with a wooden head and a solid steel forged handle. Now when I made this thing, I thought it was a fairly unique idea. I feel sure I'm not the first person to have made a reverse axe, however I thought I was the first person to have YouTubed it. Unfortunately, however, that turns out not to be the case. Another Russian YouTuber by the name of Bon got there first, and so all credit really has to go to him. Naughty PJT forging. So following discovering Bond's channel, I then subscribed to it, and he's recently brought out a new video with a different style of reverse axe, which I fancy having a go at. So, that's what I'm going to do. So what I've done is I've been to my local hardware shop, and I've bought the cheapest axe I could find, which is this Roughneck Vintage Hand Axe. It comes with this lovely canvas sheath. Ugh. And it looks to be something of a Hudson Bay type styling. Now whilst it is going to remain a Hudson Bay style of sorts, I'm afraid I'm going to be absolutely mullering this axe head and making something more unique with it. Now if you've seen Bond's video, you'll already know what's coming here, but for the rest of you, I'm going to surprise you and not give anything more away. So without any further ado, let's just crack on with it. Привет, Бон. Спасибо за идею. Мой русский плохо. Right then, after all of that, we've got this up to a 400 grit, very rough polish. Unfortunately, my welding is by no means brilliant. You can see there's still a few little pits in there at the top and the bottom, but the plan is I'm going to cold blue this, which will darken the whole thing, and I'm going to put a fake edge on this side to make it look more axe-like. As you can see, the other side is actually sharpened, but the whole point of this is to make it an illusion. So, plan is to cold blue, and hopefully that will get rid of any of the uh, inconsistencies on the surface. Right, first things first, let's acetone it down, give it a good clean, and then we'll worry about the cold bluey. I love the cold blue finish. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably already know that, but I just think it looks phenomenal. Such a quick and easy way to get a nice colour without having to worry about painting, because I hate painting steel. All right. There we go, cold blue done. And finally, we'll just give it a quick soak with some gun oil. Not only will that protect it from rust, but it gives it a really nice dark finish. Right, let's take a look and see how we did. And there we go, one faked edge of an axe. Nice. Right, with the axe head done, it's time to worry about the handle. Now, almost everything about this handle is something I hate, other than the fact it's made of hickory. For a start, they put this dark stain on, which I know you can't see on camera, but it has this horrible splintery finish. It's also covered in all this rubbish, which I despise as well. And finally, the sanding on it is awful. So this is just the cheaply thrown together handle, which is a shame, because the actual grain structure wasn't terrible. But, as you saw, I had to decimate the end in order to get it off, so this is unusable anyway. <coughs> 
So for a new handle, I had a thought that seeing as how this axe is hardly going to be particularly useful and it's going to be basically a display item, I might as well make it look pretty so I've got some exotic hardwood on the way. Huzzah! The piece of wood for the handle has arrived. This is a nice bit of exotic wood. It's called Tambuti, and I'm quite looking forward to turning this into a nice looking handle. So the first step will be to trace out the old handle and cut it out in the bandsaw, and then we'll probably belt sand it to shape. So let's do it. Well good, I got this far in and I snapped my bandsaw blade. And I don't have any more, so change of plan. So I'm now sanding pretty much the final part of the handle. This tambuti is naughty wood. It's really oily and all it's doing is clogging up anything I use to try and sand it. Even files are struggling and just getting gummed up with it. So I'm literally having to go along the handle bit by bit, removing each individual scratch I come across. So whilst this wood's very pretty, it's not very easy to work with. But it'll all be worth it in the end, because then this piece of tan booty will be shaking that booty and looking mighty fine. Right, I've got the handle sanded as best I can. It was very tricky up in the top area here, but I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat up my touch mark and I'm going to burn it in the handle down here. I did toy with the idea of stamping the head, but I always feel a bit funny in these kind of weird projects stamping what has also been somebody else's work. So I'll leave the head alone, even though I've obviously altered it, and I'm going to stamp the handle instead. So let's do that. Ooh, I think I'm running out of gas. Well that was actually very tricky to stamp, but I'm just going to give that a second to cool down and then we'll get some more sandpaper to it, see if we can't bring it up a bit. There we go, not too terrible. I think the final step now is to touch up the head a little bit with some more gun blue, give the whole thing a coat of Danish oil, and then just give it a test. So let's do that. Damn, she's looking nice. That Danish oil really makes the wood pop. Well, that's the axe all finished up. It's now just going to be a case of waiting till morning to test it, because it's currently about midnight and it's raining.
that's the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could hit that like button and consider subscribing, you'd be doing me a huge favour, and I'll always try to answer to my comments as well. I've also got an Instagram, which is just PJTForging, so you can check me out on there for more updates, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.